Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned. Uh, this is the WebGL series. Uh, once again, sticking to the short format, uh, today we'll be talking about the Canvas object uh, with a very, very simple Canvas object here, and then also via a library. Uh, we will also be showing off how to check whether a WebGL is present. Mm -hmm. We will be following the API, and we'll be looking at get context, clear color, clear, and the color buffer bit. So, starting off in the uh, first one, we will have this JavaScript main function run on load. We have a canvas object here, which we'll be manipulating. And so the first thing that the main does is it finds the uh, GL canvas object and then by ID. And then we also go ahead and set the uh, checking whether WebGL is present. So what we're doing through here is we're going to iterate through all the different context names for uh, Mozilla and WebKit, etc. And we will be using this get context on the Canvas object. If it fails, then you do not have WebGL available. Uh, if it works, then great. And we'll be returning the context for it, which is the WebGL context here. And once we get back to it, we will clear this to black, which is uh, RGB and then the alpha here. And then we will clear the color of a bit, which is actually what draws it to the screen. So that's all this basically does. And the same thing for the library version, except now we have a common library which we will start to begin storing common functionality in for future screencasts. Uh, again, uh, once everything is loaded, we will be drawing everything out. And then we have this check WebGL from the GL utils which is put onto the global as GLUtils. Uh, everything else is the exact same, so it's just building out a very, very simple library for it. And that's it. If you like the videos, please subscribe. Thank you very much.